Hey YouTube, so I heard in the comments you know, some of y'all gave feedback that it wasn't working and there's some actually some other tips um, that I have been messing around with and that have seemed to help with um, this game not crashing because I was playing this game for about four hours just today and there's no issue. Um, I may have crashed once but that was just because I had Chrome and I accidentally was running Fortnite in the background but that was it. And the reason, uh, some something I found was if you just open up Discord, if you're running, if you're using Discord, this could be one solution. Just uh, press on User Settings, go down to where is it Overlay, and turn off Overlay because sometimes when you get notifications that can mess up your game and cause it to crash. That's one thing I found. Once I turned that off, I was not crashing as frequently. And I don't think I crash anymore anymore. And here's another one. So for example, let's say you have oh, Epic Games Launcher. So you can see in the bottom right corner over here it'll start saying like how many friends. Once the game once the app loads for the first time, it'll right here. So you have nine new friend requests. So let's say you don't want that at the while you're playing your game and if something someone sends you a message or something. So you can just uh, that's fine. Over here, just make sure you always exit out over everything that you don't need. Because even if you may turn off overlay on Epic Games, it still may cause things to crash. So just go into your bottom right uh, panel, turn off things that you don't want. Like for example, Discord, I don't want that at the moment. So I could just quit that. I don't get any overlay, no problems there. And I know some of you all use Discord while playing Rainbow Six as I do. So that's one thing is to make sure that you just turn off overlay. So there's nothing in the bottom on the top top left corner or for top right corner wherever your overlay is. That way there's no um issues there interference with Discord and Rainbow Six. And let's see, something else you can do. So let's see. Just go to system settings. Go down to, I think it's under privacy. One second, let's see. Ah, oh, that's what it was. So, just right here notifications and action settings. Right here. So, you can do, you can turn off every notification that you don't want. For example, like Xbox, I don't need that anymore. I don't, I only, I rarely use that nowadays, so I just turn that off. I can turn that off. Google Chrome, don't need it. Discord, don't need it. Uh, Cortana, definitely don't need that. Um, autoplay, uh, that's fine. If you have, like, you know, maybe, um, what's it, Groove Music or something, you, you can keep that. That's not going to be much of a major issue. Uh, this one, definitely keep on, especially if you're running this on a laptop. Uh, in case you have to adjust your brightness, definitely keep this one um, on at all times. And Microsoft account, I don't use that. I don't even use Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Store, Outlook, Outlook is fine. Uh, storage settings, that keep keep these two on because this will indicate if you have something wrong with your computer or such or whatnot. And then we can go into Focus Assist and focused, Focus Assist. And you can either do priority only, alarms only, and you can customize your priority list. I didn't worry about that. I just turned it all off. Um, or you could just do alarms only. Um, just alarms only and off would be your best options. I just turned it to off. And it says right here, whenever I'm playing a game, alarms only, which is fine because I have some alarms that need to remind me like when I need to go to class or something. And when I'm duplicating my display, alarms only, I could turn that off. I don't even have a duplicate display. I'm on a PC. And I can X that out. And that's really it for this video. That's all I found that would have helped. Um, one thing I did see was some people, some of the comments had said that they uh, factory reset their computer or something of that matter. Um, you can try that, but you don't want to erase all your data. So you always, if you if you are going to try factoring your reset. Uh, factory resetting just move everything uh, into like a separate uh, disk in which you can like I keep all my games here anyway but if you need to move anything from here that's very important move it to your uh, disk uh, other 
hard drive. Like maybe if you have like an external hard drive, move it there. But you don't want to lose data, so make sure you always back up your data. Um, yeah, uh, that's really all for this video. Uh, please let me know if it's still crashing. Um, I'm still looking here and there for other options uh, that can probably help uh, sort this out. Uh, there's there's just so many issues wrong with uh, Rainbow Six at the moment that it's hard to find every little thing for everybody. Uh, for everybody, and I'm sorry, I'm doing my very best. Uh, this is something that worked for me. I hope it worked for you. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, or any concerns about what I did, or um, if you're not seeing something, or if it's still crashing and you still need my help, just let me know. I'll uh, like I said, I'm still researching, so. Uh, you'll definitely see another video coming back coming back in about two three weeks. All right, man. Uh, if you like this, if you this worked for you, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, that's all I got today. And if you want to play Rainbow Six with me sometime, let me know. Um, I'm pretty decent, so I'm looking for people to play with anyway. So you uh, have a wonderful day, guys.